What are you grateful for? The cake. <laughs> Having a new church. I am grateful for so much time with family and friends. I'm super, super grateful. I healed. To have reached this point alive, breathing. Talagang, bakit naging kiliawan yung name dito? Bali, mga may mga kiliawan birds po kasi dito sa farm. And mm -hmm. tuwing umaga po, pumupunta po sila dito and tuwing hapon. Hello! Wow! It's so nice. Oh my gosh. I had a haircut and then I had it a little darkened. So I hope you guys like it. <laughs> now we are gonna go to dinner. So we're in Kiliawan. I like this it. This is a. Okay, he likes it. This is pretty new. They only started out in last April. It's so architecturally satisfying and sophisticated. But also feels like home. Para siyang bahay ng lola mo sa probinsya. Look at that! It looks so good. It is good. So what you want? The rice? The rice and the citron and that. Oh, it's like lomi. Citron. <laughs> We've been talking about things that we are grateful for. I had the idea of like asking that question on this trip to the family. Right around that time of the year where, you know, you kind of like reflect on the things that has happened already. You just stand at the end of your year looking back, thinking, how did all of that happen, diba? Whether good or bad. You are amazed, you know, how you are still standing at the end of the year. I mean, that's something to be first grateful for. Good morning everyone, we're about to have our breakfast. Okay, so I'm having breakfast. Yung kasama ko na una na is done. I think if you want a reset, this is a great place to go to because everything is so well made inside that you feel so protected. Then you also have the option of opening your windows to get a little bit of the outside world in your cabin. I love it. I will repeat and repeat coming here. So today we're gonna try out the nature trail. So I'm gonna try running by myself. We're also gonna have a farm tour at 4 p.m. You have reached November is a big thing. Whether you are sick or you're not sick, you have reached this point alive, breathing, and you're looking at this video is something that you could just look up to the sky and say, the Lord is so good that He has made me reach this day. I still have breath in my lungs and I can still utter the word thanks. to schedule a day just reflecting the rest of the year no? as much as we would like to remember our brains are not wired to remember everything it's like a drive you need to do something to be able to search all the files in your head and so i guess that's a very good use of your november to make it your month of like scanning scanning through the drive of your 2023 20, maybe it's also time to delete some files that are not supposed to be there and also to refine the things that you want to stay in that drive <laughs> Hey guys, so this is the nature trail. So 900 meters lang papaikot. Ako nagra-running-running kanina. Oh wow, is that, what's, it, what's that? 
Yeah, I think it's my. Queen Mango. Okay, hey guys. So this afternoon is for the farm tour. We're gonna ride the tractor now. Start the tour. Cute! Is the cacao fruit? How is it? Yeah. I just wanna get a wash piece. Mm. You wanna it? wash? It's good, right? It tastes like mango steak. Sarap up, ma. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What are you thankful for, Mike? <laughs> when you've had time to reflect, I guess that is the only time that you begin to see things that you are actually truly grateful for. I've been thinking about this for like weeks already. Sabi ko, gusto kong maalala, ano ba yung mga nangyari sa akin sa taon na to? Ano ba yung mga pinapagpasalamat at pinapagbreak ko when the, the year was starting? That prompt made me, brought me back to 2022 when I had so much health problems. I really thought for the most part of that year na 2023 might not be a good year for my health and you know, what if I die? So I would have thoughts like that. I was coming from a series of like health scares na nagpa MRI ako. Then my body was in so much pain. So many things were stripped away from me. Like I couldn't jump. And you know, jump rope has been a way for me to cope with my mental health struggles. It was so big for a doctor to tell me that when I discovered that I had disc problems, I have an L5-S1. Parang gumuho ng slight yung mundo ko. But you know, I learned to cope. I learned to find ways. Above all, I healed. <laughs> if you've got cacao fruit, yes, I please. love stinky. <laughs> what are you grateful for? So Having a new church, it's so fun because I get to play with my friends there. The cake with the sugar down there and then I love it and I want to eat it all. I am grateful for so much time with family and friends. So much time for people. I'm grateful for new work that pays better than anything I've ever had. I'm grateful for how my work and your work are able to work together and tag team each other that way. Grateful for, you know, when so many things change at the same time, you learn to appreciate the things that stay the same also. Because you realize these things are changeable, but these things are constant. Like realizing God's presence is constant and God's guidance is constant and God's love is constant. I'm super, super grateful. It was a long process and I really didn't have any answer for a long, 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 long time. Only recently did I realize na, Uy, I'm out of that season already. Ising na lang ako isang araw na. Healthy na ako. Nakaka-jump na ako ulit. Uh, wala nang masakit sa akin. As in like zero. Here I am. Looking ahead for 2024, thinking that mm, I'm gonna get a running coach and I will join marathons. <laughs> Marathon era. What is something that you're grateful for throughout? Well, I travel. 
Me too. Like that's something that's very big on my list of like being grateful for because God has provided me ways to make core memories with my boys this year. God is a God of big and small things. He is caring about the big stuff in our life and also the small stuff, diba? God kasi is mindful eh of everything. Hindi lang siya yung mindful sa malalaking bagay pero kahit sa maliliit gusto niyang ibigay yun para sa'yo. It's time to go home after three days, two nights of rest here in Kilayawa. Uwi na kami. Bye! Uuwi na kami sa Maynila para harapin ang aming mga trabaho. <laughs> Was a good reset, guys. <laughs>